KDE Plasma 5.11 gained a new feature, the ability to create vaults. Encrypted folders on your hard drive where you can store whatever you want and keep it away from prying eyes. So in this video, I'm going to run through it and show you what it's about. If you have the feature installed, you can go into the system tray menu, select it and create a new vault. And once you have the feature up and running, the vaults will appear in this list. But hang on, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. Not all distributions will have the feature pre-installed. In that case, you have to go to the package manager and install plasma hyphen vault, be it whether you want to use the moon package manager or the terminal, your choice entirely. KD Neon did have the feature pre-installed, Kubuntu did not, and that's Kubuntu with the backports repository. So give the vault a name. My special file collection. So choose the encryption stream that you want for this vault, and we have two options, although I believe there are actually three options. So I have CryFS, InkFS, and the other one was Tomb, I believe it was. So the differences between them, CryFS is newer, potentially more secure, works with Dropbox and other online storage, but has not undergone any independent audit. InkFS is older and has undergone the independent audit. So it's kind of more for your use case, which one you decide. If you're in a business, you may have to choose InkFS. For a home system user, you probably want to go for CryFS. So next. And we get a little mention of it here. So security notice, CryFS encrypts your files so you can safely store them anywhere. It works together with cloud services like Dropbox, iCloud, OneDrive, and others. Unlike some other file system overlay solutions, it does not expose directory structure, the number of files, nor the file sizes through the encrypted data format. Excellent, that's exactly what we need, because number of files, directory structure, and sizes can give you a clue as to what is there. Maybe not a huge clue, but, well, it will tell you some things there. Okay, next. Create a password, and don't forget this password, <laughs> you have no chance of recovery. Our super secure password here. Hello! <laughs> but if you really want to mess up a password cracker, what you could do is hold down the Alt GR key on your keyboard, maybe press the Shift key as well and run your finger along the number pad at the top of the screen, get some really weird characters. Yeah, good luck cracking that lot. Now we have a choice on the data location and mount point. That is by default in your home folder. So in a hidden folder called vaults and the mount point being vaults visible, so it's a visible folder. Yeah, you can leave it as default unless you particularly want it on a different hard drive or mount point. Choose the cipher used. Uh, let's just take the default cipher. And you have the option of limiting to specific activities, but that's not a feature I really use, so I'm just going to leave it unticked. So create. So now when I go across to my home folder, I can see vaults in the list, and we have special. So let's paste a folder into here. Oh, naughty folder. What have we got? Oh my. Oh, thing of beauty. Eh? Yes, very nice. Exquisite. Marvellous. Excellent. But when you want to hide that lot away, go to the padlock icon and tick what looks like an eject button, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, and they vanished. We have no PROM folder there. In fact, we have no idea what the folder is, other than it just exists. So yeah. Let's take a look at what the structure looks like to the properties. So properties, we have 4.9 meg and 139 files. Sure. Special link. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. So that'll uh, fool anyone trying to look at the file. So when you want to go back and look at your secret folders, so we can just hit the eject button again, or inject button this time, isn't it? Supply username and password. Well, you don't have to supply a username, but the password. There we go. Ah, my special folder is back. Well, I'm off to enjoy myself now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.